So these star projectors slash galaxy projectors like the one I have on my desk right here have been becoming pretty popular within the past couple of years. And I just got this new one by this brand called Cape Bow, so I'm going to do a review of it. And throughout this video, I'll put in some B-roll that I recorded last night of me messing around with the star projector so you guys can actually see how it looks when you're using it. And just a quick disclaimer, sometimes it might appear that the star projector is kind of like flickering, but I assure you it doesn't actually look like that. That has something to do with my camera's frame rate, and it, it just looks weird on camera for some reason. I don't know how to prevent that from happening. So there are actually two buying options for the star projector. The one that I have goes for $44.99 on Amazon, and it is compatible with a smartphone app and also your Alexa or your Google Assistant device. And there is another version that goes for $39.99, and that one is not compatible with the smartphone app, and you can't use it with Alexa or anything like that. And I will go ahead and put these Amazon links down in the description of this video in case you do want to check those out for yourself. And in my opinion, it is well worth the extra $5 to get the star projector that is compatible with the smartphone app and your Alexa or whatever. Because at least for me, I feel like controlling the star projector with the app is a much better experience in my opinion. And I feel like you get a lot more functionality out of it. And you actually have the option of downloading one of two different apps to control this thing. But the one that I downloaded for my iPhone is the Smart Life app, and the other app that you can download is called Tuya Smart. And the Smart Life app is actually pretty cool. You could turn the star projector on and off. You can change the colors. You can set preset scenes. You can set a timer. You can set a schedule for the star projector to turn on and off automatically. You can change the brightness and a whole bunch of stuff. So I think it is really worth it to get the star projector that is compatible with the app because I think the app is great. The only thing that it seems like you cannot do with the app is control the lasers. It seems like you can only control the lasers with the remote control. So for that, I have still been using the remote control. And speaking of the lasers, I have had a galaxy projector before. This is it right here, actually. And this one was just a galaxy projector. It did not have the lasers. And it also didn't work with a smartphone app or anything like that. And I think that this new star projector is much better than my old galaxy projector, mostly because of the lasers. The lasers really give that feeling of stars and they actually vary in size and they really help give that illusion of depth and space. And they also kind of remind me of like the star ceiling in a Rolls Royce which I think is pretty cool. The projector does have a Bluetooth speaker on it and I did test it out and honestly I wasn't really impressed by it. I kind of felt like it lacked a lot of bass but I also kind of feel like people aren't really buying these to use as Bluetooth speakers so for me at least it's not really an issue. So in the end I do really like this star projector a lot. The lasers and the fact that I can use it with a smartphone app make it a lot better than my old galaxy projector and I actually haven't been using this very long. Uh, yesterday was actually the first day I tested it out and the only bad thing that I can say about it so far is that Earlier today, um, when I had it turned off for quite a long time, I came back and tried to turn it on with the Smart Life app, and the app says that it was disconnected. But then I went ahead and took the remote control, and I was able to turn it on with the remote control. And once I did that, then the Smart Life app was able to see it again. So I'm not really sure what the deal with that was. I do have some other Smart Lights, and I have noticed that in the past, if the Wi-Fi goes down for a while, they will also disconnect from their app. But but I don't think that the Wi-Fi went down today, so I, I don't know what the deal was with that. And I actually do have one criticism about the app. On the Smart Life app, I haven't been able to find a way to make the lasers stay on all the time. They always kind of do that fading thing. So unfortunately, if I do want to have the lasers on all the time and not fade, I have to use the remote control. I guess it's not a huge deal, but I figured I would mention that. But I gotta say, apart from those two things, I think it's really been great. And if we are judging it purely on the visuals, I think it looks awesome. So I know that was kind of a quick little review. I hope that helped you guys out. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me down in the comments below. Once again, I will have the Amazon link for this star projector down in the description below. 
below in case you want to check that out for yourself. And if you did like this video or if this video helped you out, I would really appreciate it if you went down there and gave this video a like. That would help me out so much. If you would like to see more videos by me in the future, make sure to go down there and hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell notifications button. If you would like to follow me on Instagram, I'll go ahead and put my handle right here. It's at YT underscore Tobias and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Peace. Thank you.